Hello everyone, it's Glenda and welcome back to my channel, Creative Grandma. I'm here with my sister, Laurie. She come up and she was making my mom macaroni and cheese today. She's finally home from the hospital. Uh, she was in the hospital, what, two weeks ago, come home for a few days, back in the hospital for another week. So we're trying to get her a little bit healthy. Now she's having a little trouble with her heart rate being too low, so we have a heart monitor and uh, hoping she doesn't need a pacemaker, but we'll see. But I just want everyone to know thank you so much for the well wishes for my mom. And I'll be doing a video with my mom here shortly. I'm going to show you her latest diamond art painting that she got done. She's so proud of it. So you'll see her in a few days when I get that video out. Now this video here is all about Annie's kits. These are crochet kits and my sister's going to help me. Now, I got behind because my mom being in the hospital, so I have four kits to show you today, and I'm going to start with last month's kits. I have two kits from last month, and I have two kits that were shipped this month, and I just got an email where they're shipping out the next kit, so I may be wrong about which month these are, so I think that they're... September and October, but they may be August and September, so sorry about that. Hopefully things get back to normal and I can stay caught up with everything. So Laurie, do you want to show them the first kit that's in the box? The first kit is a Caring Crochet Kit Club. And it's the Cherished Lovey. Now, the Annie's Caring Crochet Kit Club is where you get a crochet pattern. And then they have an organization. If you're a member, you can get online. I don't think they give you the information There's anymore. There's a kit club card with the package. Yeah, you get a little card. Now, you can make this kit for yourself. You can give it as a gift. But if you're someone who likes to crochet for charity, they do have a charity on the back of this, but they're not giving the address. You have to sign into your Annie's account, and it tells you how to look up the address. It's for the Binky Patrol. And this is a 100% volunteer 501k organization, and it was started in 1996. The organization makes blankets and gives them away to children and teens in need of comfort as a reminder that they matter, are not invisible, and have people who care about them. So very nice organization. Now they deliver to shelters, clinics, hospitals, and wherever else the blankets are needed. And then there's more information about the charity. Now I'm looking at that and it looks very small. It's 20 by 20 inches. That's really small. But it's That's a blankie. So, yeah, that is small. Well, it's right here. It's like a blankie. It's like a blankie you carry with you for security. Right. It's not really a blanket you use to cover up. It's You see kids with a little blanket. I know, I know yeah. that, but I still thought it was kind of small. So 20 by 20 inches. It's classified as an easy skill level. I guess it's classified as an easy skill level, but I'm seeing puff stitches, I'm seeing shell stitches. So if you know the basics, just take your time, go slow, and you can make just about anything. So go ahead and let's see what yarn they sent. Now I do see it's a premier anti-pilling yarn, and what that means is that when you wash your item, it will stay looking new, wash after wash, and anti-pilling yarns help prevent those fuzz balls and pilling on your project. So you wanna go ahead and- Well, there's a total of five skeins. It is, like she said, the non- Pilling. Pilling acrylic. It's 100% acrylic. It's number four medium. It's machine wash, warm, tumble dry, normal. Uh, it's 90 yards per skein, 82 meter, 1.76 ounce, and it's 50 gram. So there's two that's a cream color. One is aqua marina. The next one is spice. And then this one is Mediterranean, which is like a teal color. Yeah, it's pretty. I mean, they're pretty colors for a girl yeah. or a boy. Yeah. So kind of like... This is what, here's the color combination there so you can see how, they, yeah, how I mean, what it looks like. Whoops. There they are. Yeah, there you go. I'm, I, <laughs> I'm not organized today. We just got back from mom's. I'm rushing. <laughs> so there's, there's the yard. <laughs> 
Oh my goodness. Okay, okay. now is there, a packing, cute, is there a packing slip in here? Oh, it says it's 19.99. It's it's been a while since I did these kits. Now the Annie's kits are usually 19.99 for the crochet kit. It doesn't have the shipping on here, but I think it's 5.95 for the U.S., 6.95 for Canada, unless they raise their rates. Now crochet kits aren't for everyone. I say that watch the videos, not only mine, but other people. And if you're interested in like the Annie's Caring Crochet Kit Club, then watch several videos of the last several months. And if you think you would enjoy those kits, maybe three, four out of five, then I would say that monthly subscription is probably for you. You would enjoy it. But if you're looking at the kits and saying, well, I'm not sure, maybe I liked one or two, then I would say it's not for you. Now, there's two different ways of looking at a monthly kit club. One is every month you're going to get a surprise kit. You're going to get the pattern. You're going to get the yarn and everything you need except the crochet hook. They don't send the crochet hook. But it's a great way to step outside of your comfort zone and maybe make something that you might not ever make before. Or you to know, be like, challenged. Or to be challenged yeah, to new, try something new. Or a new stitch. Yeah. So you want to go ahead and open the next one? We're moving right along. Now this is probably the... It's a special offer. <laughs> yeah, so oh! sometimes they send you those special offers. We were just talking can... about these today. Yeah, I was talking about uh, Premier has a new yarn out and it's really big and thick. I think it's a number seven jumbo. And I said, maybe I'll make a pair of crochet boots for the winter because when when I'm in the house, I'm always cold. My hands and my feet are always cold in the winter. And I said, like a crochet pair of boots that I could put on over my socks to keep my feet warm. So this is called the Peach Blossom Slippers. So here are the slippers. And the Annie's Hook and Needle Kit Club, what they do is they include a knit pattern and a crochet pattern. So the value is there because if you knit and crochet, you can choose whether you want to make the knit slippers or the crocheted slippers. You want to go ahead and show them the yarn okay, and tell them the about color the color is Peach Melba. If I was getting slippers, I'd like a brighter color. Anyway. Well, that's a neutral color. Well, that's true. It's Hides neutral. the dirt when it gets dirty. Um, Okay, this is light new, wash after wash, 203 yards, 186 meters, 4 ounce, 113 gram, 100% anti-pilling acrylic. It's a number 4, machine wash, warm, tumble dry, normal. It's and a it's a yarn. premier anti-pilling, everyday worsted. And if you have been watching my channel, you know that I love Premier Yarns. I do use a lot of Premier Yarns, and I like to see them in the kits. And again, the anti-pilling, if you're wearing those slippers, you're going to be washing them a lot. And it helps, again, keep the fuzz balls and the pillings off those slippers. So here is the crocheted slipper. So let me see if there's a larger picture of the knit slippers in here. I think I like the knit ones better, but I don't know how to knit. There's the knit slippers. And then here's the crocheted slippers. Yeah, I like the knit ones. I like the, I like the knit one better. So yeah, let I me see. Too. The crocheted slippers is an easy skill level, and it includes the instructions for size small, changes for medium, and large are included. So let's look up the knit slipper. Now the knit slipper is an intermediate skill level and they have sizes small, medium, and large to fit shoe sizes 7 to 9, 10 to 12, and 13 plus. So use your own judgment on what you think of the kit. Again, that's the peach blossom slippers. Again, a crochet pattern and a knit pattern and then there they are again on the back. But I think they choose neutral colors yeah, to try to satisfy that, yeah. everyone's And taste. that kit was $19.99 also. Yep, and then the Annie's Hook and Needle Kit Club, again, is $19.99. 
plus I believe it's $5.95 US, $6.95 for Canada. Now Annie's has quite a few kits available and I'll put a link to Annie's kit clubs. They have quilting kits, knitting kits, and they have those beautiful hand dyed knit socks. And even though I don't knit socks, I did order the kit so I could see what that yarn looked like, but it was a little pricey for me, so I did cancel it. But you can review all the kits they have. So now these are the latest kits that I got, and I believe I got these a couple weeks ago. So this kit here is the Annie's Hook and Needle Kit Club, and it's called the Sundance Gansey Scarf. That's cute. So when you look at it, you're going to see all different crochet stitch patterns, and these are great if you want to learn a stitch. Very pretty, and if you watch my channel, you know I just made a scarf in that warm gray color. Absolutely love gray for in the winter. And it should have a knit pattern in here, so let me find the knit pattern. And then here's the knit pattern. Now both patterns are beautiful. I think I like the knit one better. Yeah, that is pretty. Oh, wait, I didn't this, see the crochet So one. that's the knit. And that's the crochet. Yeah, I kind of like the knit. I mean, they're both similar, but I do think I like the knit one better with that, yeah. that pattern. But that's what mm -hmm. keeps it interesting when you get the Annie's Hook and Needle Kit Club because, again, if you know how to knit and crochet both, you can make whichever one you like. So you want to go ahead and tell them a little bit about the yarn? Okay, this yarn is called Donahue. That's, Donahue. that's the color, but the yarn itself is the Premier Anti-Pilling oh, Everyday Worsted. And it's, what do you call that? I'd call it a light gray. It's Heather. a very nice gray, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so go ahead. It's and, new, wash after wash, 203 yards per skein, 186 millimeter, four ounce. No, meters. Meters, whoops, <laughs> sorry. Four ounce, 113 gram, 100% Anti-Pilling Acrylic. It's number four, medium number four. Machine wash, warm, tumble dry, normal. Yep. And with Premier Yarns, you're going to see that it has been tested and approved against 350 harmful substances. And that's another reason why I always look for that label. Because when you buy certain yarns that have not been tested, sometimes I break out in a rash. And you'll see my whole arm get red and raise up Ooh. in a rash. Because they do use harsh chemicals in some of the treatments of when they're making yarn. So it's always nice that you know these yarns have been tested and approved against those chemicals. That's kind of like clothing, new clothing that you buy. They always recommend you wash it before yeah, you Yeah, because of the dyes. It because of, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But very pretty color. Again, let me show you those scarves. This is the crocheted scarf. Hopefully you can see that okay. And then this is the knit scarf. Both patterns. Both patterns are very pretty for winter, and I love gray in the winter because it does. It goes, it goes with, with every everything. color. So we have one more kit to show you today, and this one is probably the Annie's Caring Crochet Kit Club. And again, that is where they give you one crochet pattern, the yarn, and then they specify a certain charity. Ooh, I see bright colors in this Very one. bright. My eyeballs are open now. Oh, wow. It's called the Tutti Fruity Kitchen Set. Now, I love bright colors, so this, this kit is right up my alley. Very pretty. You can see those hanging dish towels, and then you can see those dishcloths underneath. So the charity is called the Mustard Seed Furniture Bank of Fort Wayne. Has furnished help to rebuild lives in Northeast Indiana. This independent nonprofit has assisted over 10,900 households with basic furniture, kitchenware, and linens, turning empty houses into furnished homes. Now, their clients are referred to the agency for basic items that we may take for granted. And it goes on telling about the charity. So, isn't that wonderful and that. so brightly colored? And then again, you get the little card if you want to send them to the charity. You can make them for yourself. Is that, that's a dish towel and dish cloth. That's a hanging kitchen towel and okay. a dish cloth. How? How? What? Is this cotton that it dry? I guess it is. Yes. Yeah, oh, okay. That answers the question then. This is probably, wait till I get here where, what this is. Oh, yeah, it is 100% cotton, so drying Most dishes. Most of the are, time okay. when Because acrylic or that wouldn't work with... 
we well, have most, to use cotton. Well, for kitchen and bath, I recommend using cotton. Oh, I learned yeah. something today. Yeah, she learned something. <laughs> so the kitchen set is classified as a beginner skill level. The towels measure 12 inches wide by 20 inches long, including the button tab. The dish claws measure eight and one fourth inches square. And then it says dimensions may vary slightly based on combination of scrap yarns. Oh yeah. So if you're using your own yarn instead of the yarn they sent you. Mm -hmm. uh, now it doesn't have a brand name. It just says Annie's Kit Club on the yarn. What's the size so, of the wash? Or, yeah, the, I just told you. I know, I missed it. It's... I'm just curious. Maybe I'd make a couple. Eight and one-fourth inches square. And it's a beginner pattern. Right here's my stick. Oh, eight here's our stick. Eight that's eight and a half, so eight and a quarter. Okay, that's a nice size. Yeah, that's about, that's the, really that's nice. about the going yeah, size. Yeah, eight, eight inch but, by eight inch. Okay. Yeah, tell them about the yarns. Very okay, the bright. yarn is three. Let's hold All them all different up colors. All different colors. Aren't they pretty? Gorgeous, bright. Nice. Yeah. They would make nice dish cloths. And dish towels. I don't know if I'd use a dish towel, but dish cloths. I've never had a crocheted dish. No, wait, or towel. You're my sister. Only. You've never had one of my crocheted kitchen towels that you hang on the stove. No. I've had the ones that you crocheted the top on, like it's a fabric, but then you crochet oh, the top yeah. on. Oh, yeah. Okay, so this is Annie's Kit Clubs. Okay, this is cool machine wash, gentle, tumble dry, do not bleach, do not iron. It's 100% cotton. It's Each skein is 3 ounces, 198 yards. It's a number 3 light yarn. Okay, she didn't look at all the skeins. They're not all 3 ounces. So some are, some oh. aren't. So. Okay, I have to do this twice because it's been brought to my attention that... Two of the skeins out of the five are three ounce, and three of the skeins are two ounces. So let's talk about the three ounce first. Three ounce, 198 yards, number three light, 100% cotton, machine wash, just like you do your clothing. That's the dark blue and the pink. The remaining three colors are also number three light, but they are only two ounce. Now, why would they do that? Why would they give because you, you didn't more need than... as much? Oh, if you follow the pattern. It adds up that oh. extra ounce when you're sending out hundreds and hundreds of kits, so they're oh, only going to okay. give you what, what you, you need. need. <laughs> so the other three skeins are two ounces, 132 yards, and again, number three light. And what I like is when they give you the number three lightweight yarn, you can also use that because it's a lighter weight to make facial cloths if you want to make them for the bathroom instead of the kitchen because it's a lighter weight cotton. It's not Wow, well, maybe I'll make some. No, in our bathroom closet, my husband, he knows when I'm taking a shower. He likes the real thick washcloths. I like the thin ones. The thinner, the better for me, you know, so... <laughs> well, you would maybe I'll try making one or two for me. She won't. Want to bet? She's too busy. I'm too busy with doggies and kitties. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. I'm sorry. So again, that was the last kit we had to show you. It was the Tutti Fruity kitchen set. I'm going to show that to you again. Tutti Fruity. I like that. I, I Tutti just Fruity. I love the colors that they picked. Well, my favorite's the Blinky or whatever that was called for the little baby. Oh my God, I, I love I, that. It, it, was, it was okay. It wasn't my favorite. And that's why I like doing these videos because it does allow you to see what they're sending out every month. Yeah. So you Before said the you Blinky make a was your favorite. I like the Blinky. I did like that scarf though. I oh like, yeah, that was gorgeous too. I, I like that scarf because I like that it's going to show someone how to do different stitch Stitches. patterns. It had a, it, the way they put the stitches together in that scarf you it wasn't just a plain again. scarf it was yeah and sometimes it's fun when you play around with stitches and instead of like just a single crochet add a different stitch to it and do like two or three different stitch patterns together and you can meet make some really beautiful yeah this patterns. this shows you too you can see it real nice this the different patterns yeah that's the crocheted one i think yeah so let's so see See how pretty that is? You're learning. I see one, two, three different stitch patterns on there. Yeah. So that's what I like. It, it helps people go out of their comfort zone. And yeah. a lot of people it love... It gives the scarf some character, too. It's just not a plain crocheted scarf. 
I'm, I'm not sure which one I like better, the scarf or, or the dishcloths, but I think I'll go with the dishcloths because of the bright colors and that's what I like. So that was it. We had four Annie's kits to show you. Let me know which one was your favorite in the comments section. You know what my favorite was. You know what her favorite was. Now let us know what your favorite was. I'll have some links to Annie's in the description box. If you're interested, you can learn more information about Annie's kits. And again, I always suggest do your due diligence. Now Annie's does have a cancel at any time. If you're not happy, you can cancel your membership. If you need to skip a month, you can sign on to your online account and skip a month. But it's all up to you of what you like and if you like monthly subscriptions. So I want to thank everybody for stopping by today. I want to thank my sister for staying long enough to help me do a video today. And until next time, stay inspired and happy crocheting. Bye, everyone. Bye.